Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is Sunday the 24th of April, and we've just been to see Miss Saigon online. Open the house. Victoria. Good morning, oh, James. I'm sorry. I oh, know it is still morning by one minute. Um, so that's good. Um, how are you? <laughs> All right, thanks. You know, just hanging out in my house. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, much the same, really. Um, all is well, though, I guess, in the big scheme of things. Yeah. Um, I seem to get an awful lot of emails that. Okay, I think everyone's trying to justify their workload, um, but apart from that, it's all fine. Well, at least at least you are working, and at least we're not embroiled in the Vietnam War. Oh, I know that would be awful, wouldn't it? Yeah, the only thing that would make it slightly more bearable is maybe a musical. <laughs> <laughs> Could you have a war? Imagine having a war now. Imagine there are wars going on, aren't there? Anyway, let's not get into that. No, uh, let's... let's not bother. <laughs> All right, shall I give you a few facts about this? Yes, yeah, please. It was directed by Brett Sullivan, um, writing credits go to Alan Bubil, Bubili, and Claude Michel Schoenberg. Is, Al- is Alan Bublé related, related to Michael Bublé? Uh, no, I just read it wrong. <laughs> uh, he's a thoroughly nice guy, you know. Boobs, Bublé? Uh, yeah. He seems all right. He does. Um, he's produced by Cameron McIntosh. Um, yeah. And let's have a look. We have John John Bryons. So and, good they named him twice. Uh huh, as the engineer. <laughs> Eva Noble Zada as Kim. Alistair Brammer as Chris. And I'm going to say Tamsin Carroll as Ellen for you. Do you want to give us a little synopsis? Yeah, so basically. It's get towards the end of the Vietnam War and the Americans are in a bit of a pickle. They're not doing well. They're on the point of withdrawing. And uh, Chris uh, meets a beautiful lady in a brothel. But she's not an ordinary prostitute. She's uh, she's never done the deed before. Uh, anyway, they fall in love and it's wonderful. And then... He has to go, and he wants to take her with him, but she can't, but it can't happen. And then it's what happens after that. Does that sound all right? <laughs> yeah, I just lost you at the end, but I think we got the gist. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, so I've seen this musical um, a couple of times on stage. Um, first time I saw it. Me too. Blown away, loved it. And I've actually seen this version that we saw online. Yep. Oh, um, so that was quite cool. I love it. I really like it. It's one of my all-time favourite musicals. It is really wonderful, isn't it? It's yeah. um, it's just really wonderful. It's really wonderful. Yeah. Although, this time watching it, I have kind of try- I changed my opinion slightly. I've written down here. On closer inspection, Chris is a bit of a knob. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, basically... It, you you rent it for forty eight hours and I didn't uh, I didn't finish it I only watched half of it and then my rent ran out and I didn't want to buy it again. Oh, you so I bought it I think. Well, so. I, I don't have a job at the moment so uh, <laughs> I need to count my pennies. Don't be pushing for sympathy from the listener. Um. All right. So um. Yeah. Scratch uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I really I really enjoyed this. I think it had a lot to offer. Um. There's a couple of things that I didn't really like. I think the morning of the dragon is a little bit blue Peter, you know, when they used to get in those dancers for a bit for a like five minute section. Are you there? Um, I yeah, sorry, my the connection does keep cutting out a bit. Uh, I didn't I didn't like the fact that there's one major scene that they just did don't have in it. And what's that, Vicky? There's a, there, there's a helicopter that comes on stage, and they just 
to cut out the whole thing. And yeah. I think that's quite pivotal. Pivotal? Pivotal. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I remember when I went to see it, I was a bit disappointed about that. But that was because I was stupid. Because that bit is in the second half. It's a flashback. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was like. What's going yeah, on? It's one of the best scenes. It's one half. of the best scenes. And um, I remember uh, when you said it, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember feeling, thinking that. And then when it, well, it happened, it's like, oh, and now I remember remembering that it is in the second half. So, yeah, uh, they do have okay, a helicopter good. scene, of course. Uh, I'll tell you what they do do in this version, which I'm not happy with, is they change Ellen's song. So Yeah. I noticed, like, so when I was a kid, my mum had the original cast recording. Yeah. And uh, so I learned all the songs and that they've changed the lyrics to most of the songs from what were, what was in that recording originally. Yeah, and that doesn't bother me because I think that, you know, they're trying to be a bit of, a little bit more sensitive. Obviously, the casting is a lot more sensitive. Um, they're using actors, um, you know, of, of the right... Um, ethnicities. Ethnicities. Um, but I was looking up why they changed Ellen's song and they... There's no real reason behind it. I thought it might be a rights issue, but the one that, now that I've seen her, is a great song. Yeah, yeah. And the one they replace it with is not a great song. It's... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Now, yeah, yeah. I, the... I Obviously, I didn't get to that bit, but I the last production I saw, they had a different song, and I was very disappointed. Yeah, yeah, but um, the rest of it's very enjoyable. Uh yeah, the reason I'm, I was just a bit down on Chris is, well, on closer inspection, you know, it's completely his fault, you know, um, in lots of ways. <laughs> I just think, you know, it's, 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 it's what it is, I guess. Now, if you'd watched the whole thing, um, it looked like the runtime was about two hours, 40 yes. minutes. And it got to about 20 minutes before the end. So I, and she shot herself. I'm oh, sorry, spoiler. Um, and I was thinking, well, how, well, I don't remember anything else happening. And I was right, it ended. But then they brought on a few previous cast members. Um, so oh. lot, um, Jonathan Price came on and did um, a number uh, because I saw Jonathan Price in the original. Um, and, you know, where is probably not acceptable these days. I thought he was a great engineer. Yeah, I love Jonathan Price, but I'm not sure he should be playing a Vietnamese person. No, I, I don't think he did the voice this time, which is always good. Yeah. Um, was there anything you didn't like? Uh, no, not really. I, I, what I was going to say, so this is something that I did like. Because um, we watched a few of these online um, thing thingy now. Yeah. Uh, I like. I really like the way that this was edited. It felt very energetic, the way that they cut it, <coughs> yeah. um, compared to some of the other things we've seen, which have been a bit <coughs> more like... But, but, they're trying to make it seem as though you're watching a performance, but you're not watching a performance, so why not edit it and, have and like, make it yeah, fun? Yeah, it was more cinematic, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I liked, it, I liked it very much. I liked it very much. All right, so um, should we take a break and come back and score it? Yeah, why not? Great. <laughs> Alright then, so, filling the void, what have you been doing to pass the never-ending boredom, Vicky? Um, well, I've been a little bit poorly, so I haven't been doing much, really. Uh, I've been doing a bit of yoga with my friend who's doing some online classes. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've just, um, we've just watched The uh, Normal People. It was on BBC Three, all, all episodes on iPlayer. I uh, can highly recommend it. It's a very sexual... Uh, um, um, so it's so good. Well, great. Uh, what have you been up to? I've been doing a touch typing course. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do that? And I've made a little um, temperature chart. So I'm taking my temperature every day. I'm making a line graph. <laughs> that sounds really exciting. Uh, it is. It is. <laughs> All right. Um, so, shall we score it? I'm going to start. Yes, please. I'm going to give performances an eight. Um, I've just, I've just re-read my notes and I've put a little bit 
I think there was a bit too much vibrato in some of the singing. Um, um, I found Kim uh, had slightly annoying gaspy in breaths. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll go for an eight as well. Okay. Um, Staging and technical. It was very strong, I thought. Uh, but I didn't see the helicopter, so uh, I'm going to go for an eight. Okay. I did see the helicopter. I'm going to go for a nine. Narrative and plot, nine. Uh, yeah, nine. Good stuff. Originality. Uh, seven. Okay, gets an eight from me. Uh, choreography. It gets an eight from me. Uh, well, again, I miss quite a lot. So, uh... Well, that's not their fault. No, I'll go seven. Seven. (laughs) Uh, costume. Um... Nine. <laughs> uh, an eight for me. Um, music, nine. Nine. And was it worth it? Eight. Uh, uh, yeah, eight. Okay, all right. It's going to take me a while to... What did you these. go for? Oh, um, I go... Well, I'm sorry, um, I go for nine. All okay, right, good. So, um, by the power of editing, I will... Have Works out the scores in the blink of an eye. Okay, so I have worked out the scoring and it gets a star rating of four stars, which puts it um, in fifth place along with Fleabag. Um, Oh! Yeah, which I think is a good place for it to sit above Jesus Christ Superstar and below uh, the process and Sunday Top Six National Treasure. Yeah, yeah, it's just not the same w- without being there and watching it live. Yeah, but is I said so that we can penalise it oh, for that. It's not our, our fault that the theatres are shut. No. And it does mean that we're saving quite a bit of money because they're still not giving us free tickets for some strange reason. <laughs> I know, can you believe it? Well, probably right. because there, aren't any, there isn't anything on at the moment. Yeah. But one day, one day. One day. All right, so, Vicky, it's your choice. What are we going to watch next? Well, next, I believe I would like to watch, and I believe you would also like to watch, um, Frankenstein, yes. uh, that was on at the Old National a little while ago, and we, we didn't get tickets to see it. Is that the one with Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, it's a rhetorical question, I know it is. So there we go, all done once again. Yeah, it's Benedict Cumberbatch and Johnny Lee Miller, I think. And don't they swap roles? Yeah, I think oh, that, they that was the yeah, gimmick, wasn't it? Yeah. Why learn one person's lines when you yeah. can learn two? All right, well, listen, that was the Theatre Bell, Vicky. Which I know, means... exactly. What? Uh, what? Oh, sorry, it keeps dropping out. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Hey, eh? what? Hey? Eh? Well, that's the Theatre Bell, Vicky, which means we're out of time. So the curtain's down, the theatre's oh, dark, okay. and that was 15 Minute Theatre. Good night. Good night. Right. I don't know why my. I don't know what's wrong with my internet. It keeps being a bit poo. I, th- I don't know whether there's something going on around here. It dropped out completely. It Virgin dropped out completely the other day. Well, I think it'd be all right. I'll edit it as we go along. All right. Okay, okay. cool. I'm going. All right. Well, have a lovely day. You too. See you later. Bye. 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 bye, bye. If you're brave enough to have your theatre production reviewed, please contact us at 15minutetheatre at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter and please rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks for listening.